Hello everybody, praise be to God, and welcome back to Kingdom Hearts Chain of Memories. So we took on the Hundred Acre Wood last episode, as well as fighting Riku, who seems to have forgotten who we are, and now kind of hates us. So, that's fun. Oh, I didn't talk to these two, I don't think. It sure is nice to have the happy Sora back. Try not to get too carried away, Sora. Alright, so we're going to head to Hollow Bastion today. Hollow Bastion... I think it's one of the best worlds in the game, but at the same time, it's also filled with really tough enemies. Enemies that are immune to Blizzard and Fire and Thunder Raid. Which is not good. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use second deck, which is our Sonic Blade deck. This is going to be the one that gets us through the world. Now, let's see. So this is the Spellbinder Keyblade we got last time. I don't think we can get any more Sonic Blades. Or we, I don't think we can equip any more Sonic Blades, so what I'm instead going to do is I'm going to equip... Let's see... I could equip the Cloud Cards. That could be decent. Oh! An Elixir or a High Potion. I'll equip a High Potion, because High Potion that's, gives us back our attack cards. And that's the one we want. And we'll equip Bouncy Wild. Okay, why not? Oh yeah, the Oogie Boogie card. I never went over this. Oogie Boogie will gradually restore your HP over time, which is actually pretty good. And then the Trick Master card didn't go over this. Devalue the enemy's card when you lose a card break. It's terrible. And then the Card Soldier increases the swing speed of your attack cards, which can be good. Can be good. Anyhow, I think... Let's see. Is that gonna... Let's do that. Alright. That looks good. Now we're ready to take on Hummel Bastion. And the reason I'm going to do Hummel Bastion... Normally I would do Hummel Bastion last, because the enemies are tough. But here's the thing. We can now get the Key of Rewards. And if I get a Key of Rewards, the first room of rewards I want to open is the one in Hummel Bastion. So that's essentially why I'm doing that. So Atlantica, nope. We're going to Hummel Bastion. This also has some of the most emotional dialogue in the game, I would say. Followed by really great music. I hear voices! I wonder who it is. Shh, I think something's wrong. But, Belle, I don't understand. I came here to rescue you. I didn't ask you to come. And it doesn't matter anyways. I'm not going back with you, so you're wasting your time. Have you lost your mind? How can you stay here with that witch? I have nothing more to say. Now leave before Maleficent finds you. Oh, why? I'm not sure what's going on, but is everything okay? Don't feel bad. There must be a reason she said those things. Keep your sympathy. No one could ever care for a beast like me. Sure wish there was something we could do for him. That music right there, the piano music, easily my favorite song in the entire game. And why is it only in this game? Also, the GBA version of that song is completely superior to the remade make of it. That's just my opinion, though. I think that's the most emotional song in the game, and it's just brilliant. Hollow Bastion, welcome one and all to the Bastion of Hollows. <laughs> Alright, let's Sonic Blade these guys. So that's a new enemy, Dark Balls. You can probably remember them from Kingdom Hearts 1. They're very annoying. And they also come out in spurts. I also mentioned that Chain of Memories is the first Kingdom Hearts game I ever played. When I first played this game, I thought Hubble Bastion was essentially the Beast's castle. I was wrong. These are Dragoons. And those are wizards. Wizards are really annoying because they're the ones who are immune to my raid attacks. They're also aerial, so they're kind of immune to Sonic Blade as well, unless you can break their card. They also fire powerful magic spells. Take that. Guarded Trove. That's a new map card. It's a like Calm Bounty, but there are enemies in it. Oh, 
I'm always afraid because there's a certain amount of... Yeah, there's a certain distance you can travel with Sonic Blade before it just stops. And sometimes if you push the A button, you don't turn around, which is a little annoying. I love that music. New Slate, please. Yes! Tornado! I was really hoping for this one. Blow away enemies in a wide area, inflicting damage and stunning them. Arrow, gravity, any summon card. You better believe I want to equip that. That's that's a really, really good slate. Alright, so here's what we're going to do. Um, hmm. Let's remove our first Sonic Blade, shall we? And see if that works. So, arrow... As an arrow, gravity, any summon card. Uh, let's see, what's our... So let's do a Simba. Alright, that's actually too many, so what we're going to do is we're going to remove our high potion. Because we're not going to need the high potion for at least the common enemies in this world. Tornado! Yeah. Tornado's really good, and if I get more arrow cards and more gravity cards, you better believe I'm <laughs> making a lot of arrow, uh, a lot of tornadoes in my deck. Whoosh! Tornado steps. It's been a while since I've seen them. So that just lightly damages them, but then the explosion at the end pretty much instantly kills them. So pretty much everything in Hollow Bastion you can hit and stuff comes out of it. That's pretty nice. Give me Moogle points or give me death. That's what <laughs> that's what Patrick Henry said, right? Also, Hollow Bastion's pretty substantially sized world. All right, let's start. Let's see, Moogle maybe? Ooh, whoa! I've got four zero Moogle cards. Yeah, I'm using one of those. Here's a card pack, Koopa. Alright. So now we've got these different, like, card packs. So we've got the green one, the blue, uh, orange belt one, and the black belt one. High, the more points it costs to buy them, the better cards that are in the deck. Let's get a magic one. Hopefully we can get some arrows. Ooh, thunder! Oh, yes! Funders are also very welcome. Not necessarily in this world, but... Well, uh, let's see. Let's buy... I'll buy the expensive one. Yeah, why not? That's bad. That's bad. That's bad. Wow, I got ripped off on that one. Big time. Hey, dude. Actually, I don't want to sell all my low-valued attack cards. Because there are some slates where you want to have low-valued attack cards. Actually, I'm gonna I'm gonna buy the 100 attack card. I think. How is it that one was way better than the black belt one? Forget that. I'm not buying the black belt ones anymore. They are not worth it. Is this key? For no, this can't be room of rewards. So if we go down, we could go for that room. Wish. Calm Bounty... No, no, no. So, Guarded Trove, essentially, it's a treasure room with enemies inside it, and the treasure chest is guarded by a massive enemy. I'm gonna do a Calm Bounty. Learned Cross Slash Plus? Ooh, that sounds good. I gotta check what that's all about. Cross slash plush. 
cross slash plush. That's the cloud plushie. Cross slash plus. Cloud singles out an enemy and uses cross slash. Cloud stop in any attack card. I don't know about that one. I like how Cloud can hit pretty much all the enemies. What one is this? Key of Guidance. Okay. We will be back there later. We go up here. One valued card. Let's do a strong initiative. This is also where you can start getting map cards that are really terrible. Oh, is there another enemy out here? Ah, there we go. Tornado! Seriously, Tornado is an instant kill for most enemies. Even the ones that are normally immune to magic are not immune to Tornado. Oh boy, this is a defender. They're like the fat guys, but they're even worse because their shields on the front protect them from magic as well. So Raid doesn't it not work on them either. Thankfully, Sonic Boy does penetrate their shield. I'm getting a lot of black rooms, I'm noticing. Level up! Let's do HP. Ooh, free Thunder card. Thank you. When I leave this world, Thunder's gonna... Well, when I leave this world and I'm not in Atlantica, Thunder's gonna be amazing. Kingdom Key. Still on the lookout for... the Keyblade of this world. It's a very powerful one. For Kingdom Key. I'm surprised. Normally you get a Room of Rewards key pretty quickly within Hollow Bastion. Here we go, Key of Beginnings. Looming Darkness. This is a card, it's like Teeming Darkness, except the Heartless will charge you down in that room to get the first strike. Let's see, I'm sure I have a board. Yeah, I do. Yeah, I do. Let's see if I have duplicates of something else. Calm Bounty. I'll do Moogle Room there, and followed by Key Beginnings. This music. Who are you? Did Maleficent kidnap you too? Uh, not exactly. It's a long story. Hey, wait a sec! So you've been kidnapped? You don't want to be here? No, I don't. That witch Maleficent forced me to come here. I have no one to talk to. Books are all I have to ease my loneliness. And then there's him. Oh, I've missed him so much. You mean the beast? Then why were you so mean to him before? No, she was talking about Gaston, doofus. <laughs> yeah, you really hurt his feelings. You don't understand. I can't let him see how I really feel. Why not? It's just that... Oh no, she's coming! Hide quickly! There's no time to explain! Hide yourselves, now! Oh, good day, Maleficent. What brings you here? He was here, yes. He risked his life to come and save you. Why do you reject him? I won't ask for his help. Oh, and why is that? You know very well why. I'm not going to fall into your trap. Then I have no choice but to make you beg for his help. No, she got away! What shall we do? Help her, of course. What else? Key of Guidance. Wow, okay, so most of Hollow Bastion, we don't even have to go to. Okay. <laughs> I'm gonna go to it anyways, because experiencing possible key of rewards, but, you know. One or higher? I'm gonna use a guarded trove in this room. I want another treasure chest, and this will create experience for me. Oh, look at 
look at all them Moogle points. So yeah, you can see that. Um, I did not touch him, but alright. <laughs> Oh, I have now reached a point where I can no longer hold any map cards. Alrighty. So now I've got to figure out which map cards I want to get rid of. Deleting that. Looming Darkness I do not like. Moments Reprieve I don't like. At least not for this Let's Play. Don't really like uh, Stagnant Space. Alchemic Waking is not terribly great. I'm going to keep them around anyways. I don't need that many feeble darknesses. Oh, hi, Dark Ball. We learned Reflect Raid! So this is why I wanted a second treasure chest, because now, with these worlds, you might want to have two treasure chests in a world, and you, they might give you two different slates. Whereas in the past, like, five worlds, it, you, there's just one treasure chest gives you a slate, and then the next all just give you basically a random card. Excellent. Excellent. That is excellent. Wait, is this the Moogle Room that I'm in? Yeah, that's the Moogle Room. Alright. I might reopen the Moogle Room just to get a free card pack, because I have a ton of Moogle Room cards with me. We need a six-valued card, exactly. Feeble Darkness works, followed by the Key of Guidance. What are you waiting for? Call to him! No, I won't let you hurt him. Then I shall make you scream. The fool will come running the moment he hears your cries. Enough! The beast isn't the only one you have to deal with. Be gone, boy. You have no business here. Unless, of course, you wish to join in the screaming. Yes, when that brute hears your shrieks of terror, he'll come right to me. Don't trouble yourself, Maleficent. I'm here. You came! No, you mustn't. I told you to leave this place. Leave me alone. I never want to see your face again. Bell? What an awful thing to say. Alright, that's how you feel. I understand. My hideous form is punishment for being selfish and unable to love. Transformed into a monster. Loved by no one, I only became more selfish. And then I met you, Belle. You were the only person who accepted me. Little by little, you warmed my cold, selfish heart. The memories of our days together are my most precious. I won't cast them aside. So I'm sorry, but I can't leave you here, even if you hate me for it. Consider it my final selfish act. But why? Well, well, I never dreamed such ugliness could hide so beautiful a heart. This calls for a change of plan. Beast, I shall claim your heart instead of Bell's. No, please! Ugh. Well, so much for the change of plan. Bell's heart it is. It seems her cold words, your cold, well, what? It seems her cold words spoke little of her true feelings. Ha ha ha! She loves you, beast. I can feel it shining in her heart. You fiend! Release Belle's heart at once. Where is she? She went that way. That's the only way the shadows fled. What are you doing here? No time to talk! We gotta go after them right away! You'd help me? You bet! After what you just said, we gotta help you! Let's go get Belle's heart back! Right! We obtained the Key of Truth, and now Beast is in our party, so we can get Beast cards. And Beast, as his name implies, is a beast in battle. He's pretty good. He might be the second best after... Uh, after... Aladdin. <laughs> Aladdin's pretty great. Free card pack Koopo, yay! Ooh, good. 
I can live with that. I'd really like to get some more arrows, but that might not work. Darn it, I still haven't gotten the Keyblade of the World yet. That's a bit frustrating. Alright, we're going up. Oh, I just realized in this world I haven't really been going back to the rooms and re-getting all the stuff. Maybe that's why I'm running low on Moogle points. <laughs> I'm liking all these Mega Moogle points I'm finding. But if I could find more arrows or gravities, or arrows and gravities, that would be lovely. Because then I can make more tornadoes. Oh, that reminds me. What I want to do is, even though there are witches who are immune to lightning, I want to equip some lightning with their thunder spells. I'll remove one of my cures. That should leave me with enough. Because Fundagon in this game is amazing. At least when their enemies aren't immune to it. Let's see, what do I want here? I'll do meeting ground, why the heck not? <laughs> this way we can see more beast! Oh, uh, or Goofy, yeah, that works too, I guess. Fundaga! Blam! Instant death. Pretty much a- <gasps> Yes! Key of rewards! Alright, change of plan. We gotta find the room of rewards as fast as possible. Oh, there's a beast card. And I picked him up good. Beast! Thank you, Beast. Oh, dog on it. CP, please. Alright, I've got to get to the Room of Rewards as fast as possible, so that way I can potentially get another Room of re key, re key to Rewards. Because right now, you can only hold one Key to Rewards at a time. Lasting days. Out of my way. Here we go. Alright, we need a 15 total in blue. Excellent. Key rewards! Special treasure chest in here. Mushu! So Mushu's a summon card, and by himself, he's terrible. But there's a slate you get later on in the game that requires Mushu that is, without a doubt, the best slate in the entire game. So that's why I wanted Mushu as soon as possible. Now, here's the thing. If I get another key to rewards, I am actually going to leave Hollow Bastion and go back to a previous world just to get a slate. 
Oh no, Almighty Darkness, that is the worst map card. Never, ever use Almighty Darkness. It literally just makes the Harvest cards better. Beast! <laughs> beast, you, th that's the wrong way, Beast. Oh boy, that little P icon will turn one of your cards randomly into a premium card. I actually am not a fan of that. You get that occasionally at the end of a battle, once you reach this world. Level up, I gotta level up. I totally gotta level up. Just realized, I am going to make a fur deck just for white mushrooms, I think. Hand it over, Koopo. Got a Spellbinder. But still no card that I actually wanted. Come on! This is just getting ridiculous now. Alright, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna buy one of these. Ether, potion, potion. Three wishes, wishing star. That was not worth it. Okay, one thing I am going to do, if I have any low-valued item cards, or like zero item cards, I'm getting rid of them. So let's see. Get rid of that potion, get rid of that potion, get rid of that potion. Potions in general are just terrible. Let's see. Ethers are not terribly great either. I'm not going to get rid of any of the others, though. Because zero valued item cards are just awful because they take so long to use. Same with zero valued magic cards. Wait, no, 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 no. Hang on. That might be the card I need. It disappeared, didn't it? Oh no! I think that was one of the cards I needed. Like, the, one of the Humble Bastion Keyblade cards. Doggone it. I'll make a white room. And I'm gonna equip my white mushroom deck. But one thing first... I'm actually going to add an Aether to that. You need to have at least one attack card in your equipped deck. Alright, fine. I will equip that one. Alright, you guys. So you're cold. Excellent. You're hot. Yay! Oh, he just gave me a premium card. So you're hot. If you're hot, then that's gonna be hard. Okay, fire. I can do that. Yay! Ooh! Key to rewards! Cool, that became a premium card, I guess. Fighting them is the only way to get the White Mushroom enemy card, but the White Mushroom enemy card also kind of stinks, and I forgot that they made your cards premium cards. I actually don't want that. I don't like premium cards that much. See a lot of health. Oh yeah, that's what I'm looking at. That's what I'm looking at. Dem Moogle points. Well, he gave me the key to rewards, which is good, so I can actually go back to a previous world and use it for good. Which I'm actually going to do right now. Yeah, that's right. So long, Humble Bastion. I'm actually leaving Humble Bastion, and I'm going to go back to Traverse Town, actually, to open that Room of Rewards. Because the Traverse Town Room of Rewards actually gives you a decent prize. Alright, Traverse Town Room of Rewards, here we come. In this chest, we get the Lionheart Keyblade. Oh, and that's a really high-valued Lionheart Keyblade as well. That's good. Lionheart Keyblade is a very, very good Keyblade card. It just takes a lot of CP to equip. But still, it's decent. Now the problem is, because we left Hubble Bastion, now all the rooms will have reset. So we'll have to reopen them all. But we'll still have the Key of Truth, so that's nice. Hey, free card pack, yes please. Not quite, but alright. I am sick of fighting enemies in here. Ooh, gravity, thank you. 
That was very kind. <laughs> calm Bounty! Maybe I'll get the Keyblade of the World in the Calm Bounty room. <laughs> Yay! Divine Rose! Thank you! Oh, and that was a high-valued Divine Rose, too. I am... Thank you, God, for doing that for me. That was very kind. Yeah, Black Mushroom Room, why not? Black Mushrooms are not very fun to fight, because they have ludicrous and high defense. Another key of rewards? Are you serious? Alright, well now, I've made it this far into Hollow Bastion, I'm not turning back now. Another arrow! Nice! I can do two tornadoes. Ooh, that's a Divine Rose, that's a Divine Rose, that's a Divine Rose. Give me that, give me that, please, thank you. Alright. Well, before I go over there, I need to review me decks, and... Alright, you know what? Alright. Now we can go to the boss. We need a bunch of cards totaling 30. Let's start with Almighty Darkness. Oh, whoops. Gotta get rid of Almighty Darkness. Okay, we've got a lot of black rooms we can get rid of. Followed by a 7. Still have 5. Darn it. Still have 2 left. Let's follow that up with another black room. Those aren't good. And then... Key of Truth. You've done well to make it this far, beast. As your reward, I'll tell you why Bell rejected you. My dark magic requires hearts of utmost beauty. Belle was perfect, deep in her heart, her love for you shone with uncommon radiance. But she guessed my plans. By denying her love for you, she put her heart beyond my reach. But she saved me! She protected me! She couldn't hide how she really felt. I've heard enough! Release her heart, Maleficent! If you don't... <laughs> Witch! Do not try my patience! Don't you realize why I'm telling you all this? Did you think it was out of kindness? I did it to erase your doubts. Now your heart is beginning to shine with love for Belle. The perfect fuel for my dark magic. I shall have your heart too, monster. Not if we stop you. You dare to challenge me, pitiful fools. So now we get to fight Dragon Maleficent. She's a tough fight. I'll just put it out there. You gotta hit her in the head and it's often out of your reach. Mickey Mouse cards can drop, which will create a pedestal for you to reach your head more easily, but you can destroy it very easily. Oh man, I missed my Lionheart. The Lionheart Keyblade's immensely powerful. But honestly, because you can't Sonic Blade her head because it's in the air, just flat wailing away at her with your Keyblade is a pretty good strategy. Ouch. And this is why I have a lot of high-valued cards in my deck. Partly for Sonic Blade for other fights, but also because she's got some high-valued cards herself. And in this way, my cards are so high-valued that she really can't get in at an attack edge-wise, really. I say that now. There we go. Mickey Mouse card you get by destroying the flames. So now we have this nice little pedestal. Turn it, Maleficent. Yeah, every time she pounds the ground, one of those gets destroyed. Come on. Take that. <laughs> oh no! She interrupted my Donald Duck attack. Oh shoot. I wanted to use Beast first and not. Darn it, she keeps interrupting my cures. And now I lost one of my cures. 
this is not good. Uh oh. This is actually very bad. Yep. And I died. Thankfully, it puts you right outside the room, so it's not too big of a deal if you lose. You can also hold start to skip those movie scenes. Let's try this again. My problem was I accidentally used up one of my cures in a slate. Oh, free beasts. That's good. Four beasts. Why? I do not think taking damage should break your attack. Especially if it's just, like, a little fire damage. Yeah, her little flames are what cause the most annoyance on, in this battle. So if you can just stop her from even using them in the first place, that'll make your life a lot easier. And obviously magic's not super useful against her because her head is in the air all the time. This time I'll have to your mind. Bam. Much easier. Now we get a bunch of experience. Yeah, level up. Those pearls are worth a ridiculous amount of experience. Alright, well, we died, so I guess we should probably level up HP. My HP is still quite low. Thank goodness. Please forgive me. I had to be cruel to you. But I guess I couldn't hide my true feelings. I'm the one who should apologize. For just a moment, I doubted your love. I never want to remember those feelings of despair. Then don't. Let's replace the sad memories with happier ones, starting now. Bell. There they go with the mushy stuff. Oh, yeah. Yeah, we'd better give them some privacy. Good idea. Let's keep moving. I like the beast's dialogue in this world. It's really well done. Okay, so we're coming up on another fight here. So I want to make sure I've got as many Sonic Blades in a row as I can. That will do it. Excellent. Alright, we've got, like, a ridiculous amount of Sonic Blades all in a row, so we'll be all set for this next fight. Actually, I'm just gonna go here just to refill my HP. It's him again. Can't take a hint, can you? Leave Sora. I'm not leaving until I rescue you and Namine. Ha! What makes you think I need rescuing? Then think of Kyrie. She wants you to come home too, don't you remember? You're the one forgetting. I told you to take care of her. At Kingdom Hearts, when we closed the door to darkness. Give it up, Sora. I'm not going back to the islands, and you're not changing my mind. It's not just Kyrie. What about the rest of our friends? You can have them. I forgot about those losers ages ago. Listen to yourself! What about you, Sora? Do you even remember what they all look like? Of course I... Don't feel bad. That's just what the castle does to you if you stay here too long. 
You forgot all of the useless stuff and remember for the first time what really matters. I remembered it, Sora. The one thing most important to me. I'm staying here to protect Namine. Nothing else matters. Hey, Riku. Mind if I jog your memory? Go ahead and try. Okay, we are now going to wipe the floor with Riku. Okay, well, he just pulled that out of nowhere. That's cool. Sonic Blade's such a high-valued slate, he's really not going to be able to break it without a zero card. Oh, he won he matched my card value. That's interesting. Yeah, and a bunch of Sonic Blades all in a row. It's gonna wipe the floor of him pretty effortlessly. That's all the damage you dealt with Dark Fire God. <laughs> so yeah, you can see just how broken Sonic Blade is. Bam! Bye, Riku. <laughs> oh, he doesn't even drop anything. Lame. Urgh. Too bad, Sora. Nothing's coming back to me. Maybe you should try hitting a little harder. No, that's enough. Come on, Riku. Let's quit pushing each other around and go help Namine. What? Together? That is so like you. You're always trying to worm your way into my heart. Whoa, whoa, time out! When did I ever do that? Humph, <laughs> you probably forgot. It never mattered to you how I felt. Wow, something's whacked out about Riku, man. <laughs> I won't let you push me away. And we learned Warpinator. Okay, what the heck is that? That sounds like a hit new pop album. Warpinator! Eliminate the closest enemy. Not always successful. Stop gravity and arrow. And when it says not always successful, it means it only works on common enemies. So it kind of sucks. Once you help Riku get his memories back, you'll wake up in no time. That Riku is so stubborn! Has he always been like that? Look who's talking, Donald. <laughs> I know exactly how you feel. Don't get your hopes up. Nobody's can't be somebody's. But think, Naminé. I'm sure there's something you can do. Why? I don't get it. We both want the same thing. We both want to help Namine, so why are we fighting? I mean, Riku and I have bumped heads over stuff in the past. That's for sure! Well, the more you fight, the closer you must be! Yeah, I know, but Riku doesn't seem to feel that way. Have a little faith, Sean! You guys used to be inseparable, right? How do you know, Donald? The only times we've you've seen us in the first game was when we were beating each other up. You, Riku, and Kai... Kai... You know, the guy from Harvest Moon. And, um, what's your name? This is awful. Our memories are fading fast. We better hurry, Sora. I'm sure you and Riku can talk things out. You're probably right. After all, the three of us were never apart. Me, Riku, and Namine. That's creepy. Well, that's all the time we have. Oh, wait, hang on. It'll be real nice when you, Riku, and Namine can laugh together again. Kai Kai... What? That's weird, I can't think of her name! That's unsettling. But that's all the time we have for this episode of Kingdom Hearts Tuning Memories. Thanks for watching, I'm Colorful Artie. Tune in next time, we will be heading... Actually, first thing we're going to do is head back to Olympus Coliseum to open that room of rewards. But after that, we're going... to Atlantica.
<sighs> That's gonna suck. Hope to see you there! Have a great day, and God bless!